Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a quick overview video of how we run our vacuum as well as our router cord. One of the most annoying things is trying to route that vacuum hose out of the way. And this does a really good job and it's very inexpensive. Just using a little bit of EMT, you get at your local hardware store, couple connectors. Next thing you know, you got everything up out of the way. Nice clean setup. It pivots along with the machine. So one of the things you wanna make sure when you set this up, I'll just tell you right off the bat is jog your machine all the way over to the extreme and then all the way to the front here. When it's in this position, you just want a little bit of slack. And then as far as the connections go, you can see that I'm using Velcro strapping just to hold it in place. Also, you'll see if I go from this side over here, a little bit of, I left myself a little bit of slack there so I can make sure that I clear the stepper motor on the Z. I'll go over here to the back side where you can see I went ahead and measured over 60 millimeter by 60 millimeters, cut a square out with a little jigsaw laying on its side here, and that worked out really good. And then I was able to access this inside of the 40 by 40, which allows this whole thing to pivot. So let me go over what I used here. I have a, a 10 foot stick of half inch EMT or conduit, one, two, three couplings, and then one 90 degree elbow that's also half inch. So what I did is I took the 10 foot stick conduit, I cut it down to 65 inches, and slid it all the way down till it hits that foot plate. I will tell you one thing, go ahead and make sure you measure from the foot up to make sure you have enough clearance from your ceiling in order to tilt that in place to slide it down into the 40 by 40 here down to the foot. But once you get that in place, you simply attach a coupling, attach your elbow, attach another coupling, get cut at 34 inches, and then I put another coupling on the end so the Velcro strap doesn't slide off. And again, you can see I coupled the router cord with it as it goes up just goes around here and then comes down. Now it's not gonna make it all the way, so I went ahead and just used the extension cord I had laying around and finished that all the way around to the back here. And I got a little power strip set up right there. So that's the setup for that. There's our vacuum. So I'm using a two and a half inch shop vac hose that goes into my dust shoe. And then it comes back around, comes down, and then I just kind of go under the table a little bit here. And then it comes back around to the vacuum. And on the vacuum, I have a reducer that goes down from four inches down to two and a half inch, and then a flex coupling to connect the reducer to the actual vacuum port. These vacuums are really nice. It can be wall mounted or it can sit like I have it here. Super quiet. Comes with a, a bag that has like a two micron bag. Has a zipper in the back of this bag. So if you do mount it on the wall, you can just empty it out from the bottom into a waste pail. Um, you can also disconnect the bag from here if you'd like. But yeah, really nice vacuum. So like I said, it can be real frustrating to get your vacuum hose and your router cord up out of the way. So I just want to make sure that I showed you guys the way that we're doing it here. And I hope it helps. Thanks for watching, guys.